this is the second part. We had a few technical issues and uh, somehow we stopped the video. I stopped the video by accident. But now we are back and we were looking at uh, fluids in potential cracks under the Schwarzenke system but also spreading beyond the Schwarzenke system towards Fieserwick etc. And we uh, said that there is uh, potentially a lot of fluids down there and gas and uh, this can of course fill the cracks as well. It doesn't have to be magma. But the uh, uh, important question that, uh, that I think uh, is worth looking at is what's going to happen now because the system is actually inflating again. And uh, this happened pretty much after the uh, April 1st eruption, reasonably rapidly. What's the story? Do you think there will be more eruptions now and maybe will they come in different places throughout? Well, I think what we will are seeing is because we have this major strain stress release event on 1st of April yeah. and uh, uh, the onset of inflation and, and the rate of inflation you know, for the first few days after after that 1st of April event was much faster than we have seen before. Yes. And uh, I think it's basically that stress relief event kind of uh, opened things up a little bit more than it had been previously and allowed magma to come from the deeper storage zone into the shallower storage zone a bit faster than it had been doing yeah. in, in recent times. But now what the interesting thing is is that last time I looked it was actually slowed had slowed down again and was actually getting to the pace it was pre before the first of April. I see. I and see, and yeah. so if, if that holds and, and we don't know that you know the, the, Inflation is not necessarily a constant event. It can come in in, in, in sort of steps and things like that. So, but if it, if it holds itself, uh, 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 inflation rate, then the next event would not be until like two and a half to three months from now. Yes, I think. Uh Swing this around. Yes, I think. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help. But I had to take the little fumaroles there into the image. But yeah, I think that's interesting because while new fractures may allow magma to rise up quicker, they would also allow for magma to spread in the shallow crust a little more because the rock is more fractured, you can infiltrate more and therefore maybe the inflation is actually slowing down once the magma arrives. Interesting. It, 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 that could be. And, it, and, and the, the other thing is, is that... Uh, um, We may be getting to the stage where, the, you know, even though we had a temporary increase in the flux, that might also mean that you know you empty things up rapidly. But up to up to first of April, we will see a decline in the flow rate between the deeper magma storage and the, and the shallower magma storage. So, uh, and, 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 and if you get back on that track, then that inflow might continue to decline, and which would mean that. The end of, of, of you know, at some point you can't maintain that flow between those right. two things, and then the whole thing will end. Now the interesting thing, right before first of April, we were at the point of where the inflow was about 2.5 cubic meters per second. Okay. And the theoretical limit for keeping a conduit open with magma flow in the crust is between two and three. Yeah, so we are a threshold. We are already at the threshold, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we wouldn't get another eruption. This might die out before that happens. But at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily be totally surprised by the fact that we get one more event. I hope one more in summer, so that would be nice. But I, I'm getting a little tired of it right now as well. The cost of the analysis is eating me up. So <laughs> I think it's yeah. enough if you ask me. So, but yeah, three months from now would be, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, maybe in June, mid July. I, I take one more. Yes, in, in June, July would be perfect, and then it's twelve. So it's a nice kind of. It's a dozen. So. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, let's hope that's what's going to happen, but we will have to see, of course. But anyway, interesting turn of events. Tor, thank you so much for your time, and uh, thanks for talking to me and us in this case. And now it's time to go to Salesforce for, for our little dinner. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.